My first guest is an accomplished leader, an expert in business, development, and all phases of management and operations. His mission is to build strong and cohesive directions for business entities. He's the president and CEO for North Central Minority Supply Development Council. Please welcome Dwayne Ramsour. Thank you. I'm Dwayne, how are you here. doing, man? We're doing good. Glad to be here. We get a chance to work a lot together behind the scenes and, uh, and with and through the council. I want to thank you so much for uh, involving my company and uh, showing how, how it's all done. What is the uh, North Central Minority Supply Development Council and how important is this organization for building uh, connections with corporations and business uh, throughout the state? Well, first of all, thank you for, for having me here today. Uh, but our mission is to provide business development services to corporate members and certified minority uh, uh, companies mm -hmm. to enhance the relationships and uh, build uh, business opportunities for those companies. Now, you've been uh, at the helm for a few years now. Uh, uh, since January 2011. So. It, se it seems uh, a much shorter period, but yes, you've done so many things over that short period of time. Thank how, you. how has the minority business, uh, uh, I noticed that you, a report recently talked about minority businesses here in the state. How has it been effective in adding to the fabric of our uh, economy here? Well, during 2013, in collaboration with the Humphrey School of Public Affairs, uh, our board and I, um, developed a impact study mm -hmm. and we want to determine what the impact of our minority businesses in this case Minnesota uh, was on the economy we we're able to determine that two point billion dollars of impact mm. in one year during 2011 is what the study determined uh, and we were very impressed very surprised but pleasantly surprised of that impact so we want to grow that two billion dollars that's uh two two point one billion absolutely. two point one billion dollars that's that's a lot of uh of involvement in the overall economy of the mm -hmm. state of minnesota uh, how does and, and what does the membership totals look like now i i note that we have expanded yes. uh now with north central uh, uh so uh, what does the totals look like and and who are our new partners Sure. The, the totals uh, uh, with the expansion, we are now five states, which include, of course, Minnesota, Dakotas, uh, Iowa, and, of course, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. And with the merger, and we're still growing, but roughly 400 certified minority-owned businesses, wow. and we expect that number to grow. Now, you do a, a, a number of programs and, and procurement meetings, and, and what do some of those uh, do to to, to create and attract uh, minority businesses sure. to join uh, with us? Great, great question, a uh, great number of questions. Well, one of the things that procurement meetings will do, and we have one almost every month, mm -hmm. uh, we have one coming up August 21st in collaboration with the uh, leadership at SuperValue. Mm -hmm. But these meetings allow certified minority businesses to, to network and to increase their businesses with the leadership, procurement leadership of these particular corporations. In addition, we have an annual, what we call MBOF, mm -hmm. my uh, Midwest Business Opportunity Fair, which is coming up September 24th, 25th, which is a, 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 a typical business exchange yeah. that allows uh, minority businesses throughout our region and corporations throughout our region and around the country to do business to increase sales and, and profitability. Well, you know, Do the MBOFs are fantastic. Uh, Thank you. You have allowed us uh, and Urban, uh, Urban Mass Media Group to uh, be one of your, your primary go-to people to, to film those programs each year. And, and I note that they have a, a, a lot of corporations that are involved. Who are some of our partners uh, with uh, NCMSCC? First of all, it's it's honor to have Urban Media be part of our our, our, our uh, uh, events. But some of our companies, uh, some of our major companies that participate uh, are uh, Johnson Controls, uh, Best Buy, Target, uh, General Mills, 3M, um, and Cargill, just to mention a few. So many, and those MBOFs are a great opportunity for individuals who are considering uh, joining the organization and being uh, a part of the organization get a chance as well absolutely. to see and meet and, and discuss and network with those uh, important people. Absolutely, absolutely. What key advice would you give in closing uh, the 20 seconds or so that we have, uh, Dwayne, what key advice would you give uh, to a small business owner who uh, is, is out here and trying to create an environment of success? 
Well, I, I would first and foremost suggest uh, that failing to plan is planning to fail. Mm -hmm. And I say that to say they should have a business plan, uh, first of all. They also, also should spend time developing their value proposition. Mm -hmm. When you approach our major corporations, are you going to save them money? Or are you going to help them become more efficient, effective? What distinguishes your business from your competition? Yeah. Those would be some things I would say. Well, I know there is yet a lot of work to be done. Uh, I think we have the right person in place to get some of that work done, and I really appreciate you coming on board with us and being one of our supporters and sponsorship of this program. It's an honor to be able to support what you're doing. All right, thank great. You. Dwayne Ramsour, thank you, Doc.